That's why we make a little word spin. Get a word spin! Let me tell you, let me tell you. Commission, you got a little bell. Just, that's just, you're ringing us in. Let's bring us in. Let me tell you a little bit about what I love about Quad C. A little bit of the 8 9 matchup. In the first round, always the greatest matchup. I fucking love this one. You got in Scott. Literally the only word in the whole tournament was sweater connotations. <laughs> going up against... That's important. Don't underestimate that. Going up against Scrappy Little Whittle. Little Whittle. He's sharp! He's just a... No. He's not sharp, you dick. He's just a You're pale dick. old man sitting on his little fucking porch, whittling away with his little old piece of wood, ever shrinking with his modest knife, Maybe he'll take a nap later. <laughs> What's that, old man? What are you making? A ship! A turtle? A little piece of shitty pipe? Oh! No! Oh. You're actually making a fucking bald eagle. <laughs> with a couple of fucking huge skulls in his talon and the words, taking care of business underneath! <laughs> but puts a scalping on any word in its path all the way to the final four. The fucking only word that can beat it is Talon. Not even I don't think Talon can beat it. That That's extremely strong. Put fucking, put Whittle down. You want to win. Put Whittle down. Disagree with that. I'm not going to disagree with that. I actually see Love Whittle it. going to the Elite Eight. Uh, Putting the music on you, baby. <laughs> What for? Fight through it, buddy. No, no, just... no, we got great stuff in okay, quiet seat. Okay, I'm listening. I'm waiting for it. Okay. Bring it. The, the matchup that I really look forward to in, in uh, quad three or quad C is dilapidated versus perfunctory. Huh. Now, dilapidated uh, is a great word. It, it's uh, bad news. It sounds great. It's like a pop song with really bouncy chords and sad lyrics. It's, uh, <laughs> Dilapidated has a, has a very bad heroin addiction, but it gets up at 5.30 in the morning and plays racquetball every day before going to sell high-end real estate. So, and in the first round, it walks all over that drone perfunctory. Mark it down. Come on, give us one more. Give us the 4.13 game. Oh, excellent. No, 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 no. I gotta hear a prophylactic against diarrhea. That's what the fans want to hear. Yeah! yeah. Who wants to defend diarrhea? This is a this is a classic. This is a classic. Skank poop. Skank poop. We learned the skank poop lesson all the way back in Quad A. It comes across as a three. Prophylactic's a hold it in word. Diarrhea is a let it out word. It's just a three syllable poop. Thirty-seven percent of the time, the hold it in words win. So you're probably gonna want to go with diarrhea. It's just a three. Let it out! It's nature. That's nature. Come on, everybody! Round of applause for the last Woo! Last fucking quad! Bottom half of the 2 4 regional heavy no in last year's tournament. More upsets in this quadrant than in all three other quadrants combined. Whoa. A lot of hot heat, a lot of bell ringing in this quad. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. Well, the, the first. The first game that I'm going to watch is the uh, esophagus hippopotamus matchup. This is this is again a classic type of matchup, the animal body part matchup, and I'm I'm going to refer to the numbers again. 72% of the time, animals beat body parts, so smart money is on hippopotamus. Where is that? Yeah. I don't see Ask it. Any kid in a zoo. I don't see that. Where is that? We're in the wrong bracket. We're in the wrong bracket. Yeah, what are you talking about? So, oh, uh, formaldehyde or hippopotamus esophagus. They're <laughs> <laughs> flummoxed. <laughs> I'll tell you guys. Hello. It's been let's, let's look instead. Hello. Let's look instead at the. Uh, Skip it. Cut the commercial. Can, no, can we get the uh, formaldehyde hat? <laughs> get that Nymph guy up there to take it's his shirt off. Right up there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be quiet. So. Just listen. Two words. <laughs> So, with this matchup, it's a 6 11 matchup. Formaldehyde, like a lot of words that sound great but cause cancer, it, <laughs> it's inconsistent from beyond the arc. Haberdasher, on the other hand, made. All yeah! 
all the clothing for James Bond. Woo! Happy Dasher! On the other hand, it also made all the clothing for Justin Bieber. I'll rethink that. And the only reason it really got into the tournament is because it pointed out in the qualifying rounds that Circumspect was wearing its boutonniere on the wrong side. But uh, I, I, I'm going to go with Haberdasher in this matchup in a mile. Woo! Let's look at Flummox, the three seed, against Rupert, the 14 seed. Yeah. People think that's a hot matchup, right? Yeah. See, well, people are talking about that one. Yeah, I'll tell you why they're talking about There's it. There's already a lot of buzz. A lot of buzz early about Flummox. Three-time winner of the most prestigious, sounds like an industrial cleaning product award, right? You put that shit up against a two-syllable daddy that starts, turn page, starts weak with flum. But it finishes fucking strong, you bitches, with a mops. Like a fucking strong Merlot. And that's why Flummox evokes the fucking mercy rule. Remember that from the And it crushes the perennial grad school of education conference champion, Rubric. Flummox, get it going long. Yeah! All right. Now, I'm looking at the 314 matchup here, facsimile versus ostentatious. I think for those of you searching for an upset, this is a good one to look at. Uh, the three seats facsimile, it's a good word. It's not the most original. It's a good word. It's, uh, it's two 